Hello once again, welcome to Monaco and the Poker Stars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT. It's the final day, and that means it's final table day. Six players remain in the main event. We are going to play down to a winner. The next champion on the European Poker Tour will lift the trophy and receive the first prize of more than 827,000 euros. Hello, everyone. It's James Hartigan alongside Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. I don't want to say Monica's expensive, but I saw some of the players wishing on the fountain outside. They were using paper money. I hope they weren't 500 euro bills. Talking of big cash money. These are the sums awaiting the players at the final table. Next man out, 152,800 euros. Six figure scores guaranteed for everyone. Up top, 827,700 euros. So who have we got at the final table? Let's start with the player in seat one. He is the 2013 World Series of Poker main event champion. He has $14.2 million in live earnings. He is from Michigan in the USA. He has a stack of 3.6 million. He is Ryan Reese. The player in seat two is enjoying his first trip to Europe. He's 34 years old. He's from Shanghai. He is Wei Huang, wearing the gear of his favorite football team, Shanghai Greenland. He's got a stack of nearly 5.7 million. In seat three is the chip leader. He already has two EPT main event caches. Guaranteed his best result to date. He has 7.16 million chips. Nikola Greiko. The player in seat four hails from Hungary but resides in Malta where he plays online cash games. Victor Katzenberger with a stack of more than six million chips. In seat five is a guy with $10 million in career earnings. He is number 10 on the stacked German all-time money list. Manig Lerza, 30 years old, a stack of 4 million chips. And finally, in seat six is a 56-year-old from Lisbon in Portugal. Has $185,000 in live caches. He's the low man coming into play today with 18 bigs, Luis Medina. The trophy on the podium in front of the final table in sight of all of the players vying for the title. I would make sure to keep some of the time bank cards as a souvenir because let's be honest, the money is not going to last very long. So we start with the action on Victor Katzenberger. King 10 off under the gun. Okay. No, he wants to settle in. Jack-10 suited for Manig Lerza. I don't think we'll be seeing the same tightness. And one thing we should reference, we saw the chip counts of all six players, Joe. This is a pretty deep stacked final table, with the exception of Luis Medina, who's hovering around the 20 big blind mark. Everyone's got 60 big blinds or more. Yeah, this really could take a while. Which is good, we like that. We don't want it to come down to flips. We want some good, solid, deep stack poker. So Greco with pocket eights in the big blind has the chip lead. And he will call. Heads up to the first flop of the day. At the first hand of this six-handed final table. Hey, ooh. all right. Wow, top set for the chip leader. The flush draw for Lerza. Now, this is one of the benefits. Ooh, goes check, check. One of the benefits of everyone being so deep stacked is, look, if we were shallower, the money might have to go in on that flop. The money might have to go in at some point in this hand, but... I mean, granted, this is a little pa more passive than we would expect, but when you're this deep... How has this gone check-check on two streets? Because, James, Nikola Grieco has not been the Joe Stapleton school of flopping sets. He doesn't know your adage to always bet your set. Always bet your sets. Probably 
check the flop, hoping for a C-bet from Lerza. Surprised he didn't leave the turn. Tries to get value on the river, 225K. Look how much value he's missing out on by not betting that flop. By not charging, he gave two free spades to Manning Lerza, and who is now gonna pay off nothing. <laughs> Bluff. Oh, nice hand. Oh, Bluff. You should be saying thank you. Thank you for my two free shots. Yeah, on the first day, yeah. flop top side. <laughs> <laughs> Reese opening under the gun with Jax. Playing with 8 7. Queen for and, Greco. And Reese versus Nicola. This should be a fun one. Oh, I like this stat from I Hate College 209. I think Ryan Reese will be the first World Series main event winner to win an EPT. I think he may be right. Is, we, we went over that yesterday. We did? Yeah. Well, you you weren't in here. I was doing some serious strat talk oh, and cool. but poker did, statistics. And yes, that is true. Did we get that verified? Except for if you count your of main event. Top pair for Greco. Yeah, mm -hmm. Reese outflopped. Than it is I don't. I'm talking about the main event yes. in Vegas. Because you were going to bring up Adrian Mateos, right? And John Juwanda. That's right. Martin Jakobsen has two runner-up finishes and the American World Series of Poker main event. We have a good hand again? Beautiful. <laughs> 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 okay, I show and the finish. I actually had a chance to chat with Ryan about that last Stop. night. <laughs> so Ryan decides to check call the flop for 155,000. Well, action goes check check on the turn <laughs> and no jack on the river. No queen. Which would just be too bad for Greek Cal. Call. Quick call. call. Snap call. 300,000 from Reese. Finish the Fubaglia. Oh my god. <laughs> finish Royce. Uh, Sam Beth, best to relax. Close. You arrived at the sixth position. Relax. Lost my beard. <laughs> Yeah. I, I speak with you, it's a beautiful flow. I show. No. You always spin Pinocchio, not Pinocchio. Well, our chip leader has just moved over the 9 million mark. He wins and complains. He now has 150 big blinds, and we spoke to him before the... So this is hand 14 of the final table. Huang's opened on the button to 180K with A7 suited. Chip leader Nicola Greco has king 10 in the small and has played a time bank card. I don't know, I seem like I might want to save my time bank cards for more difficult situations than this one. Well, it's a call. Well, you're going to need to put out more than that one chip. So action now on Victor Katzenberger in the big blind. He folds Money. queen three. We're going to go heads up to the flop. <clears throat> I'm check. Checks in the dark. He's pulling out all the good ones. You fold, I show, check in the dark. Check. Five 
And Huang checks behind. Jack of clubs on the turn. What price offsuit queen on the river? <laughs> This has gone check, check on the flop and the turn. And a curious lead from Greco, betting full pot. Sick. So sick. Win or lose, probably lose. Win or lose. Although probably lose, I love this. What do you have this time? <laughs> right? Oh. Do you know what? what I'm going to say win. I think Wang is going to fold. <sighs> For me, it's good you fold. Yeah. Cool. Ah, oh, wow. I got him. Flash. Really? What? Yeah. No, don't do that. Sure. Come on, oh, dude. Right. Seriously, oh, okay. I like your antics up until this. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. finally. <laughs> it's good. That's a little Good call, messed up, bro. Pinocchio. <sighs> Calm me down from this. Let's hear from... Ryan Reese. You call it King 10. Not much difference. Ace 9, King 10. Yeah. Yeah. Raised with Queen 10. Yeah, straight with Ace 9, though. Yeah. Okay. Raiko in the small blind. Wang's folded, by the way. So, doesn't defend ace nine in the big blind, is considering doing something with ace six in the small. Okay. Calls. Katzenberger with 10 9 suited in the big. Getting a great price. You have 3.5 or? Uh, 2.9 to start. I'm going to say one thing about some of the decisions being made at the final table. Let's not necessarily look for logic. <coughs> so three-way action. As we go to the flop. Queen, eight, five with two clubs. Top pair for Ryan Reese. The flush draw for Katzenberger. Greco's checked. How is Katzenberger going to play this? Check. Checks. Reese, the pre flop aggressor. Value bets top pair into two opponents. 200,000. A fold from Greco with ace high. Do we see a check raise from Katzenberger? Remember you were talking before about no one should be getting too crazy here while they're waiting on Medina. So I think that's going to make a raise less likely. But he can put pressure on Reese. Okay. Wow, wow, he shoves he does on it. Reese. It's all into call. Somebody studied ICM. And a horrible spot for Ryan Reese. And a great spot for Luis Medina, who could potentially ladder. <coughs> I think you're supposed to fold here. With ICM considerations. Reese just said, I do not want to race against you. And it is a race. Top pair against a flush draw. And Reese folds. He knew where he was at. But he understands ICM as well. Great move from Katzenberger. And he's closing in on the chip leader now. 7.3 million for Katzenberger, 7.8 million for Greco. And Ryan Reese has dropped down to 2.4 million, a 30 big blind stack. But it's because Luis Medina is sitting there with just eight bigs that that hand played out the way it did.
action on Manik Lerza, who's got pocket sevens. Eight race, 160,000. Opens to 160,000. Short stack, Luis Medina says all in. With ace three. Well, he's gonna get called. Oh, there goes one of his threes. <coughs> and here we go. Luis Medina at risk and behind. It's been a bad week for pairs against one over card. Good point, well made. Of course, it means absolutely nothing statistically, but we've just seen plenty of pairs cracked by an ace. Usually bigger than this, though. Good flop for the sevens. Three outs for Luis Still Medina. Does pick up additional outs on the turn. Can make a straight with a five. Bigger pair with an ace. Seven cards he can hit. The river is a 10, sevens hold, and we lose our first player from the final table. Luis Medina eliminated in sixth place, cashing out for 152,800 euros. Nice playing with you. You too. Good luck. Good luck. Nice playing with you. You too. Thank you. Funky cold Medina could not run hot. We are down to five, and Ryan Reese is now the low man at the table with a 33 big blind stack. Everyone now guaranteed more than 200K. <laughs> the cantina, I asked the guy, why you so fly? He said, Funky cold Medina. Ryan Reese has opened with tens, and Katzenberger has picked up kings in the small blind. Here we go. Buckle up, buckaroos. <laughs> 480, that's like a Nikola Greco raise. Three bet from Katzenberger, gets a fold from Manik Lerza, action back on Reese. Old nemesis, Victor Katzenberger, once again, putting the pressure on Ryan Reese. No full bet shove from Reese, just a call with the tens. An ace, eight, eight flop. Boo! Both players likely irritated at that ace. Small, real small. 260 into more than 1.1 million. So small. So small is begging for a call. Okay. 
What a lay down. Reese gets away from the tens. You know, he's playing like a world champion, James. Still the low man at the table, but survives for now with a 20 big blind stack. And Katzenberger, by the way, has just taken the chip lead. Katzenberger <coughs> now with 7.4 million, 92 big blinds. Greiko with 7.2 million, 90 bigs. Katzenberger is now top of the leaderboard. 200. Sorry, I got so distracted by that, I forgot to keep cranking. So Greiko's opened under the gun with 10-7 suited. Katzenberger with ace-8 suited. Which, by the way, I have a crank back here. It's just a, a cooler, cold deck crank for when things slow down. Okay, well. Re-raised to 520k. Looks like everyone else has folded, including Huang in the big blind. So action back on Greiko. And okay. he's calling. Here we go. Playing a three bet pot out of position without the betting lead with a middling What's hand. Up? Middling? I was being polite. Hey, someone caught a piece of the board. Ryko pairs his seven. Gonna have to crank harder. Katzenberger with ace high continues. 1.24 million in the middle. A C bet of 380,000. Not a huge bet. Insta call with a bottom pair. Just a pair of sevens. I mean, look, he's a three to one favorite. Yeah, he's right. It's hard to make a pair. So Greco. You like this card? Up and down now. I don't understand. The queen is not for you. <coughs> what? <laughs> the queen is good for you. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, he's got to slow down. I mean, just when you get insta call there, you're just. Hate in life. Okay, so Greco's straight draw doesn't get there. He still has the best hand, though, with a pair of sevens. But how comfortable is he feeling about that? And question, can Katzenberg bluff him off it? I think Katzenberger can bluff him off it. I don't think he will, though. Guys like Greco only respond to one thing, and that's the words all in. Well, he's going to bluff it. Two million in the middle. This is not going to be enough. Just shy of a million, right? Nine hundred and fifty thousand. Nine hundred and fifty k, just under half the pot. I mean, you say that this looks valuey. Of course it does, but just this is not really a an analytical spot. This is a machismo spot. This is a. I don't think you have it. There's no real. Thought about ranges here or combinations. I really think Greco finds the call here pretty regularly. Well, here's the thing. I had a lot of respect for Greco yesterday when he made that big bluff against Lurzer. I'll have a lot of respect for him here if he can call with just a seven.
The longer he thinks, the more I think he's going to fold. Yep, he does fold. The bluff gets Let's through. And Grico drops into fourth place see. on the leaderboard. Six, Katzenberger six, consolidates six, his chip lead. Six, He's up six, to six. nearly nine million. Yeah. Yeah. Wei Huang sits in second. Lurza in third. And Grico, the start of day chip leader, now has a below average stack. Yikes. Fast TV plus the live chat on Twitch. Hand 45 now being played. Here we go. I, I cranked it there during the entire break, by the way, James. So I'm expecting we will get a little more action. And good luck to everyone, including Joe Stapleton, playing in the PokeStars TV free roll. $2,000 in scoop tickets up for grabs. Registration has now closed. The game is underway. Joe, if you cash, if you win a scoop ticket, you're going to go across the border and play. South of the border. Ryan Reese all in with sevens. Wei Huang with aces. The crank comes through again. See, look at that, the crank. Ryan Reese. How much? 1.925. Cool. Just a call from Huang. Hoping to entice Nicola Greco in from the big blind. How much? 1.925. Well, I'm not really sure if Queen 4 okay, warrants so how much. Yeah, because I'm in behind, so I need some time. Yeah, because I'm the last. Well, Manny Glerza will tell you that it is always coming seven. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the Go German the adage runs true for Ryan Reese. It's a very lucky number in his culture. Both of my suits are alive. <coughs> Optimistic. <coughs> if you've ever had aces cracked, you know it happens. Here comes the flop. Four, four, Oh, open-ended straight draw for Ryan Reese. Hell of a flop. A nine, a seven, or a four will save him from elimination. Yeah, it takes away some of his outs. Wang's picked up the spade draw. Six cards, Ryan Reese can hit to survive. And that is one of them. Reese rivers the straight and doubles up through Wei Huang. If you are one of Ryan Reese's backers, that is very good news for Reese's pieces. And they're pretty even in chips now. Reese has got 40 big blinds, Huang 43 bigs. And this was his reaction when he saw that flop. <laughs> I've been out with Jake Cody for drinks. Nice guy. Nice guy slash instigator. Katzenberger with the Greco. Folds it somehow. Manages to find the fold. Lures her Queen Jack. Cut off. Huang small blind with the king and the ten. Of course, Greco waiting to pounce behind him. How much do we left? Not that much. He's got 12 chips. Cool. Flicks it in. <laughs> yeah. The queen deuce yeah. off. Poor guy. Four, six, seven, two hearts. Everybody misses. Probably not a board that Loza wants to do too much continuation betting on. Indeed, we see this one going to go check, check. Actually, believe it or not, this is a pretty reasonable spot for Greiko to bluff. He has most of the sixes, most of the straights, more so than anybody else, but his queen deuce is as disinterested as he seems to be. There it is. There's the bluff. And this, this is going to work. This should work, yeah. Uh, and actually a pretty reasonable decision because he has more of the fives as well, calling in the big blind. He's got the fives, he's the got small. the fours, he's got the sixes, he's got the sevens. Probably be more suited hands as well because he'll call here with like Jack Deuce of Hearts. Wang won't in the small blind. So he definitely has the better hands in his range than his opponent. 
Also, that I would say there's close to zero percent that Wang is going to do anything but fold King High, given how he's been playing. But a time bank card's going in the middle. I could be wrong. This would be a fantastic hero call if he could make it. I like the hero raise all in. Just the call. Wow. wow. Absolutely oh. brutal. He's going to be so tilted. Nothing is going Greco's way right now. King high. Ouch. Nikola Greco down to six big blinds. I mean, there's no way this is done. Yeah. Pocket sixes. Maybe this will be good enough for a raise. Check it. Sure is. Well, oh, and we got a beats him into the pot, quite literally. Yeah. Photo nice. finish, ace 10 for Greiko. King queen for Katzenberger. Greiko may be up against more than one opponent here. Yeah. Greiko so resigned in this tournament, he's already leaving the table. The action not even yet finished. I'm just waiting Pretty for awkward one for Katzenberger, Joe. I'm just waiting for the Uber notification to go off from his phone right. that his ride's here before the flops even out. You got any races ready? That's not my, that's not on me. I'm just if you have one, I'll, I'll happily let you go for it. Oh, Katzenberger's wow. going to squeeze it. 1.3 million with the king and the queen. Don't really want to second guess anything, but I think... Oh, king jack for Lurzer. This is kind of weird, though, right? In a tournament, like, isn't the standard play to call and implicitly check it down and try to knock out this guy? Uh, looks like he's just going to fold, and we are all in. Greiko gets in with the best hand, ace-10. I mean, Katzenberger gives Greiko some protection there. Much happier to go heads up the multi-way. The king-jack folded as well, so Greiko's actually a 63% favorite to find a double up here. More than a double up, given Huang's dead money. Katzenberger once again using ICM to his advantage, putting that three bet in there, getting the sixes to fold. Jack high flop, so... King Jack would have spiked a Jack. Pocket sixes would be good as it stands. Greiko a 79% favorite. Make that a 87% favorite to double up. Has to fade five outs. And he does. Guess who's back? Greiko's back. Almost a triple up with the dead money in there. And Victor Katzenberger's pre-flop aggression keeps Nikola Greiko alive. Nikola Greiko, it me. He's all in on the button. Ace five of spades, sure. Good shove. Ah, oh, buddy. Uh-oh. Two nines for Victor Katzenberger. He will certainly not be folding. I imagine this is just a straight re-isolate all in. The big blind's gonna have a very, very tight calling range. Katzenberger with the chip lead. Doesn't want to do anything that might result in going multi way. He is going to call, though. Maybe he learned his lesson from the last time. Lurzer's out. I mean, there's really not a lot Lurzer can do anyway, unless he has a super nutted hand. So I guess save chips when he does have that hand. But we are all in, and Greiko <coughs> at risk with the ace five of spades. Greiko's been a lot of fun to watch, but he is the favorite to go broke here. 
still a reasonable chance he survives this 36% chance. Finds and wow, we hits everything two pair and a spade. Two outs now for Katzenberger, one of which is a spade out. If the nine drops, they better clear the table. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Spraggy. Hold on to your butts. The river is an ace full house for Greiko. Translation, can you believe this fish called with dines? Come on. All right, take it easy. I want to chalk some of this up to language barrier. I'll tell you on break. You can watch uh, all Team Poker Stars are going to be playing these scoop events. You can hang out in the chat and watch just like you are now. Um, pretty interactive experience and uh, enjoy. So Ryan Reese is open with fours and Wang has got kings on the button. Some online poker as well. You're more than welcome to join us. Reese has 36 bigs behind. Cool. Wow. Okay. Playing this one slowly is Wei Wang from the button. Laying the trap. And aces oh. for Greiko in the small. <laughs> How does he wake up with the aces? Wei Wang laying the trap. He's going to think it's worked absolutely perfectly against the aggressive Nikola Greiko as well. I'm just working it out. It starts the hand with 2.9 million. If he doubles up with aces through kings, does he retake the chip lead? It will be close. Let's see if he's going to re-raise or try and trap as well in turn. It looks like those are raising chips, James. Yeah. And I imagine it'll be a sizable re-raise. Oh, this is just horrible for Wei Wang. He's going to think his trap is paying dividends. He does have position. We'll see if he just wants to... Cool. Well, we've got Ryan Reese to act first in the cutoff. Yeah, pretty sure Reese is going to ditch the fours. And I'm pretty sure that considering what greiko has got behind, that Huang will just shove on him. It's only 455,000 more for Reese. He does have to consider Wei Wang behind him as well. You're right, he's folding. Let's see if Wei Wang wants <coughs> to trap once again, or whether he back raises all in and tries to play for the lot. Cool. There we go. Shove and a call. So Nikola Greiko officially the player at risk, but he is a four to one favorite here. Aces crushing kings. It's a cooler at the best of the times, aces versus kings. But when you trap pre-flop and Nikola Greiko raises behind you, you've got to feel particularly aggrieved. Well, if aces hold here, Spraggy and Greiko doubles up. He will be pretty much tied with Manik Lerza for the chip lead. Jack, 10, deuce. Greiko can't watch. Just has to fade the case king on the river. There was a king folded pre. It's a nine, and so Greiko survives. And having been the table short stack for the last two levels, is back to being the big stack, tied with Manig Lerza for the chip lead on around 55 big blinds. Wei Huang drops down below the 40 big blind mark. He says survival there as he's about to drag the pot. He's doing more than surviving right now. He's thriving. What a comeback from seven big blinds deep. Yeah, sure. Oof. 
6.7 for Lerza, 6.5 for Greico. Ryan Reese still the shortest stack at the table, but after that hand, Wang hasn't got that much more than Reese. No, I don't think about <laughs> But I have kids. <laughs> what can I think? Right? He's an old man. Okay, hand one, zero, two, and it's pocket fours for Greiko. He is raising the button. Lerza in the big blind. Ace nine. Four sixty. Four sixty. Yep. Again, very big raise. The very large big raise. raises from Greco. It is his modus oh, operandi. But look at this. A three bet from Lerza. Re raises to just over one point five million. Okay, well, these are the two biggest stacks at the table going to battle here. And typically, we'd just expect when the big stacks do battle like this, a hand like pocket fours doesn't really want to go up against the other player at the table with all the chips. But those pocket fours are in the hand of Nikola Greiko, and he'll play by his own <sighs> rules. Doesn't seem happy, though. No bluff. He said fold. Aye, no bluff. Loza moves over the 8 million mark. Greco drops down to third place on the leaderboard behind Katzenberger. Katzenberger with the suited Jack 4 on the button. Two hundred and sixty K, Queen Eight of Hearts for Maniglerza. Let's it go. Ryan Reese has Ace Eight in the big. Two sixty. And he calls. Heads up to the flop. Nine, nine, six. Just the one diamond. See the good board for Katzenberger to continue on. Just because the sheer weight of misses in a big blind calling range. Ace high on a paired board. Probably not a hand that Ryan Reese will be looking to fold though. His decisions are impacted somewhat by the chip stacks at this point as well. He has the shortest stack at the table. Maybe he feels like if he calls on the flop, he might have to face further aggression. But it looks like he's decided his ace high is just too strong to let go at this point in the hand. 180,000 apiece. Three of clubs on the turn. See if Katzenberger wants to really put the pressure on Ryan Reese, really put him in the cage, fire a second or a third barrel. He doesn't. He's checking behind to a five of Diamonds River. So nobody has anything. Reese still ahead with ace high, checks a third time. Representing some showdown value with a check if he got here with a hand like 10 7 or 10 8 that called the flop with the gut shot straight draw, he's almost certainly gonna have to bluff it now. So by checking, he's saying that he has some sort of marginal showdown value. He may even look for value with a six. So he's saying that he has like a king high or an ace high. 
Maybe Katzenberger is going to try and move him off of it. And that's what we're seeing here. Katzenberger betting the Jack Four of Diamonds. Roughly one third pot, 360,000 into 1 million and 60,000. It's a little bit difficult for Ryan Reese here. Some players, if they stop bluffing on the turn, they don't often start up again. Counting out chips, though. He may expect Katzenberger to fire all of his bluffs on the turn. So when Katzenberger checks back, maybe he has a little bit of something that wants to show down and is now value betting it at the river. Can he find the call with ace high? Yes, he can. He heroes and wins the pot. Ryan Reese no longer the shortest stack at the table. Now up to 4.8 million, roughly 40 big blinds. Wei Huang is now the low man at the table. And Victor Katzenberger with 42 big blinds. I tell you what, Greiko, Katzenberger and Reese all bunched together between 40 and 45 bigs. Huang is the low man with 31 bigs. And then you've got Manic Lurza, the chip leader, with a 67 big blind stack, more than 8 million chips. It's a really great look up from Ryan Reese. And as you say, it really changes the complexion of the table again, bunches everybody pretty close. But I mentioned it before, when Ryan... The stacks are going to start getting shallow eventually. Well, Katzenberger coming in for the raise with a 7-8 of diamonds. Ryan Reese folds his button. Ran to Wei Huang with a very nice-looking jack-10 of diamonds. These two between them nearly made a straight flush. <laughs> but that doesn't matter, of course. We've seen Wei Huang not afraid to just call hands in the small blind. Indeed, he does call again. Okay, Greiko, what have you got? Jack, seven of hearts. If he folds this one, I'll buy everybody an ice cream. Mine's a Zoom bar. No ice creams for you. Nicola Greiko's coming along to the flop as well. King 5-3 with two hearts. That was a very dramatic check. Somewhat disconnected. Katzenberger might fancy his chances for a continuation bet here. He opts out. There's a check. Seven on the turn. Does give both players a pair. Nikola Greiko with the better kicker. And the flush draw to go with it. Two flush draws on the board. Good chance that Greiko is bluffing here from the big blind. So Katzenberger makes the call with his pair of sevens as well. And an ace of clubs river. Neither player going to be too happy with that. Katzenberger still beats plenty of hands, though. Things like 8-9 or some rando jack-four that had a gut shot and stabbed on the turn. 
So don't be surprised to see him just take a showdown with his 8 7. Looks like he's reaching for chips. Interesting. Nine. When he's betting, thousand. Yeah, when he's betting that sizing, James, it's never going to be for value. I don't think he's trying to get caught by worse here. I think he's probably decided that Greco never checks a flush at the river. Quite possibly doesn't ever have an ace either. So maybe trying to just get him to fold a better seven <sighs> or even fold a king. Fold. <laughs> It's going to work. If that goes check, check, Nikola Greiko wins the pot. But Katzenberger <sighs> turning his hand into a bluff. A big hand. And it's just to get it through. <clears throat> Katzenberger second in chips with a 50 big blind stack. Sorry, blinds and empty chips. <coughs> minutes time we went through the entire previous level without losing a single player is it going to be a case of rinse repeat <coughs> level 30 no, wait, wait, wait. Ah, sorry, sorry. do you know if there is a record for the the longest period at a ept final table without an elimination james i guess the heads up of 10 hours qualifies technically yes Lurza defending his big blind with six deuce of clubs. Oh, hello. Here There's we go. Both players with a flush draw. Two clubs on the board. goes check check we get the three of diamonds on the turn so Lurza now has a straight draw to go with his flush draw yeah he's got a really terrible hand for showdown just one pip away from the nut low with six deuce but as you mentioned James he's got a straight draw he's got a flush draw he definitely get his opponent to fold some queen highs king highs or even ace highs by the river so I think it's a great spot for him to start betting his hand and he'll bet big 480,000. How will Brian Reese respond? He does have two overs to the board, the flush draw, of course, and can occasionally have the best hand, not just against the six deuce, but against some other bluffs, five sixes and five sevens. Okay and some more adventurous bets from Lurza. Reese calls, and this is developing into a sizable pot. It's a brick river. Lurza with the betting lead. If he continues with his bluff, he may be able to force Ryan Reese to fold king high. Question is, is he able to continue? Yes, he is. 1.150, just over 1.1 million chips with six high. Yeah, it's more than two thirds pot.
Well, we've seen Ryan Reese make a very good hero call with ace high. With king high against this sizing, this would be different level. Can he do it again, James? Nope, he folds. The bluff gets through. Manik Lerza up to nearly 9 million. Pulling away from the rest of the table, 73 big blinds. Wang folds. Greiko not going to play the Jack-7. Katzenberger on the button. Jack-5 off. Nope. So, could be Lerza versus Reese round two. It's blind v blind, small v big. And Lerza has ace seven offsuit. And he's raising. Raising big, 410,000. Queen three of clubs for Ryan Reese. He defends, so these two are going to go to battle again, Spraggy. Yep, and nearly a million chips in that pot already. King 10 10, one club. Those are a three to one favorite with ace high. Well, both have quote unquote missed this flop. But Ryan Reese with the queen high in the back door, straight and flush draws. May decide to stick around if indeed Manig Lerza opts to continuation bet. He himself has ace high. Sometimes we'll want to check this hand. The aggressive action, reaching for chips. There's the bet. Fairly small sizing, which I think is going to be favorable for Ryan Reese to stick around. He does call. We're off to a turn. Turn card is the ace of clubs. So Lerza pairs his ace, but Reese has picked up a flush draw and a straight draw. Yeah, exactly the sort of backdoors that he might be looking for when he peels one off on the flop. It's a check from Lerza. Interestingly, in this spot, though, Ryan Reese does have still a fair amount of showdown value. He has the queen high, which means that if Lerza doesn't have a pair, he's likely to be good. And Lerza probably raises here with like, you know, 9 7 offsuit and hands like that. So Ryan Reese does take a step closer to showdown. So the nine of hearts on the river. Lerza has a lock on this. One point three eight million in the middle. Might start looking for a small value bet here. Try and get called by a king. Or potentially a nine. Ryan Reese can have a hand like queen nine for the gut shot or jack nine for the gut shot that calls on the flop. So I'd anticipate Lerza looking for a small bet to get called. a small bet indeed he goes for the 300,000 as I say just trying to get called by a king or a nine we've seen Ryan Reese be stubborn in the past a 
Oh, he's not going anywhere just yet. Throws in a time bank card. The problem for him, if he's thinking about using this hand or turning it into a bluff, is he probably bets all of his tens on the turn and hands like Queen Jack on the turn. So anything that would raise the value now, probably bet the turn. Hard to represent too much when you've checked back on the ace. Just wonder if he's thinking about making the call with Queen High. More time for Ryan Reese. <laughs> we saw Katzenberger take the bet check bet line as a bluff previously with just the jack high. If Manig loses up to similar here, then Reese's queen high would be the best hand. Oh, he's so close, he calls. Heroes with queen high. But he is wrong. <coughs> and Manig Lerza wins another significant pot. And Lerza is closing in on the 10 million mark. 9.9 .9 million. 82 big blinds. We're going to squeeze in one more hand before the break. Ryan Reese has dropped below the 25 big blind mark. He is the short stack at the table. With the rest of Broad. We are still five handed at the Poker Stars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT main event.